What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today, we have a little bit of an exciting change of pace here. I actually have one of my subscribers. You may know him, Shane. He is down at the National Corvette Museum Bash right now, and he's filming for us. So he's going to bring the entire experience to the Horsepower Obsessed channel. Now, I was originally supposed to go, but a couple different things out of my control happened that stopped me from being able to go to the show. Hopefully, I can make it next year. But anyway, let's turn it over to Shane and see some awesome cars. And yes, guys, the E-Ray is there. And it's there in all three new colors. Shane is going to show us a bunch of stuff. So let's see what he has to say. Hey, guys. It's Shane, the thumbs up guy from the channel. Welcome back. So as you come up here to the main entrance, we've got, uh, looks like where we can check in possibly for the bash tomorrow. And then we've got some of the E-rays that are already out here, looks like. I'll, uh, I'll show you right now. The uh, Sea Wolf Gray E-ray is right out front. So it looks like a lot of the main attractions are going to be right here. Sorry. No, you're good. Oh, you got a jacket out of that. Hold on. Got a 70th car. Look, it looks like they're going to start it up. Oh, or roll it forward, I should say. They're in stealth mode. Okay, Matt. Here's the uh, the display E-Ray, the half car. We'll come through here and we'll take a look. They've got the car cover off. We can check it out a little bit. I believe they've got the visible batteries on the other side, but it's covered up with the car cover. So you really can't see the window that they built into this display for the batteries. Come over here and I'll take a look. Sorry. No, you're good, man. You're good. <clears throat> Batteries should be down in here. Let's see here. Yeah, there they go. I wonder if they're going to change the suspension. There's the batteries in the display window for the E-Ray right there. They've got it covered up with the car cover. It's Wednesday, the 26th, and uh, I'm down here for the bash, Bowling Green, Kentucky, at the Corvette Museum. I uh, came down a day early. I've got family that lives near here. So I thought I'd come check it out and see what they've got going on today before it starts. I'll turn you around here in a second, but the, uh, the setup is the opposite from last year. Behind me, you'll see got AMT and then we've got Expel over here behind my truck. They're right in front of the Stingray grill and uh, last year everything, all the vendors and everyone were all set up on the other side of the museum itself. This year I think they're anticipating a much larger turnout. I'll walk you through here in a second but the parking lot on the other side is completely full of vets already. They're lining up. I think some may be leaving them overnight. Unless there's an event today to like a pre meetup before the bash. Z06 going on. I believe that's Sebring Orange, maybe. Then we've got the AMT booth, got the Expel booth. It looks like they're going to have another setup down here, too. So it looks like some of the vendors are on this side. 
And then here is the exterior entrance to the Stingray Grill cafe area here where you eat food. There's the main entrance over here toward the museum. And then here's the Nowicki trailer, which you've seen them at Carlisle. They were here last year at the Bash. But anyway, I'm gonna take you around to the other side and show you what this pre-setup looks like. Here's the 70th and the uh, white tricoat pearl. <clears throat> Actually, it's called pearl white tricoat, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, they got a 70th too on the uh, for the Z06. And carbon flash black. We'll get a close up on this one. What I like about this one is they went with the competition seats. They have the black, uh, you can see, I'll go around to the passenger side, but uh, they have the black inserts on the seats for the comp seats. Has the stripes. There we go. There's the competition seats right there. There we go. You can kind of see it right there. The nice black insert versus on the regular Stingray. We've got these GT2 seats, which might have the white perforated centers on those. This is what I was referring to with some of the cars underneath this uh, overhang here. Kind of protects everybody um, in case it rains. So that way everyone can still be out here taking a look at all the, the cars and stuff here. So we've got a maxed attack trailer over here. Uh, Evan Turi is setting up. Um, they've got their, looks like they're probably completely set up. I'll give you a close up here in a second. They've got their car on display and they also got their uh, air intake, their Evan Turi air intake and uh, looks like a cutaway or a cut in half version. You can see really well the uh, air filters and how that's designed. Of course, you've seen uh, Protective Dad Pranks, Steve, and I believe Jason from Front Seat Driver is going to be probably buying one of these as well in the future, but you've got to see some of his footage already on YouTube. We'll take a slight detour from uh, some of the booths that are currently setting up and stuff. Here's the 70th, uh, I believe. It doesn't have the badging though, so it might just have the 70th wheels with the Stingray R package on the front. It's hard to tell, unless they debadge the 70th. But here's some of the cars for people that are visiting right now. I'll walk you over here, show you some of the cars, the C8s. It's nice uh, red mist. There's a nice yellow C7 Grand Sport. And then I wanted to come over here and show you this torch red over here because it's this Z06 is uh, set up pretty sweet. It's got the uh, the graphics for the, uh, the, the I don't know if it's the Stingray R package or if it's the uh, the Jake Skull package on the Z06. It's probably the Jake Skull package, but it's got the front the front graphic on it here, the stripe. But this one's set up. It's got the uh, Carbon Flash 07 package, but it's got the aluminum rims. Looking pretty good. It's got the torch red calipers. And it's a convertible. Mr. Lipstick, or Mrs. Lipstick, out of Tennessee. So, really nice car if you happen to watch the video. 
All right, so here we go. You can kind of see some of the cars. Quite a bit of C7s. There looks like there's a C6 over here. There's a nice C7 Grand Sport. So I believe these are just people checking out the museum today in anticipation for tomorrow's event. But I'll walk you around and show you some of the cars. This one's got some nice bug juice and guts all over the front of it. Real nice. Sitting pretty. I believe that's on the C8. I think that's it called Nova Stretch maybe? Nova Tech? Nova Stretch? Maybe somebody in the comments can uh, mention what that is exactly. But anyway, helps protect if you don't have your car uh, expel or at least protect it on the front there. Little C6 action here. Grand Sport. Nice gray color. Take a look here and we'll go broad. Take a look at some of the cars. There's the back entrance to the museum when you're coming out there. But now let's uh, let's step inside, and I'll show you guys a little around. Here we go. So it's it's Corvette Boulevard is what it was. Um, I was struggling to figure out the name of that. And then once you pick up and deliver your car, you actually come over here and you hit Victory Lane. When you uh, pick up your car for delivery, you drive right out through here. And when you get down to the end of the hallway, you take a right there and you come out right next to the uh, the main billboard and sign that's painted on the uh, outside of the building for the delivery. And of course, here's your Corvette Boulevard. And now we'll take a walk through here and see some of the cars. Nice red mist. This one belongs to Mark and Connie McKeegan, looks like. Very nice setup. It's got a set of the carbon flash stripes. Nice red Miss Coupe. Here we got a 70th, looks like. Anniversary edition. All right. The, uh, the white pearl trico. This is Gary and Daisy Finch. Congratulations on your car. It's a nice spec to convertible. It's got the competition seats on the inside very nice it's hard to see that with the reflection they got the nice competition seats on there so nice 70th and the white pearl trico and they opted to delete they went with the low wing spoiler and the uh, silver stripes nice setup here's the museum and library archives And the Stingray Grill here, but it's closed today. So I'll bring you around here now. So this is an interesting car here. This is the Z06. And it's an Amplify Orange, but they chose to go with the orange calipers. I'll show you here. So that kind of looks nice. But then they went with a red Z06 badging. Very interesting. I'll bring you down here, let you take a look. It's a different contrast, I think. The, the red letters against the orange. And they went with uh, two-tone interior as well. Red and black with the red stripe on the steering wheel. And GT2 seats is their setup on this one. But this is Ricky and Jenny Gay. So, Ricky and Jenny, congratulations. They've got the stinger stripes on the front. They went with the two-tone, the black and red. So it's just an interesting color contrast on the car against the Amplifoy orange. The coupe. And we got two Elkhart Lake Blues. We got one coupe with the low wing. And then we're gonna have a, 
Let's go around the other way. Might be the Z06. Okay, so we've got a Stingray with the low wing here. And then we come around to the front car and it's gonna be the Elkhart Lake Blue Z07 package. Here we go, here's the Stingray. Went with a tan two-tone interior, tan and black, or natural, the natural and black color. And this belongs to Mark Frederick. So congratulations, Mark, on your new car you'll be picking up. And then here's the Z07 package convertible. They've got the Z07 spoiler. They've got the Jake Skull graphics. Which that looks really good on the cars. I've seen them, of course, on the builder, but I've never seen one in person yet. It just looks really good. They went with the carbon fiber wheels and the edge red calipers. They also chose to go with the red Z06. And I can't tell if that's, looks like maybe an edge red. It's a darker red color. Doesn't quite match though, the edge red calipers. Maybe you guys can comment and let me know what uh, what color the red graphics are. It may just be red or torch red, but it's definitely not quite as red as the edge red. They went with the carbon fiber side skirts. Inside, they went with tension blue two-tone. The GT2 seats, it's hard for you to see. There we go, without touching the car. No, Try to get you in there. This is John and Annie's car. I work for Microsoft. I told her, I said, we do the same thing. Good, how are you, sir? Hey, that's our car. We're happy. John and Annie. Hey, is this your car? Nice, very good. Yeah. So when they were they see what we All right, perfect. And here's the front stripe. Corvette racing stripe. got at least two Z06, but they look like Z07 package cars with the high wings. There's the first one that I can see. Come through here. There's the Z06. So we've got two, two Z07 package cars and one Z06 package car. There's our Z06 with the edge red calipers and the uh, red stripe wheels. And then you come down here to the end, the last one, and they have just the uh, standard aluminum with the highway. Looks like the uh, black, satin black, I believe, or maybe gloss black, it's hard to tell. But, uh, and then that truck there is probably picking up its delivery. So everybody's going to be gaining a few cars here soon once this truck leaves later today or tomorrow, I'm guessing. Just thought I'd show you guys that for, uh, for the last video. You guys take care.